I'm Lloyd Holiday, and this is the Cost of a Thing podcast. Thanks for listening in today. So what happened to that great standard of living that we used to enjoy here in America in the 1960s and even into the 1970s? Well, that's what the Cost of a Thing podcast is all about, and that's what I'm going to be talking about here. Okay, well, I haven't done any... uh, podcasts for a while, a couple of years, and I'm going to start doing a few more podcasts, but I'm not going to be doing them on YouTube. I'm going to do them on Rumble. So this will be my last podcast on YouTube, at least for now. So if anybody out there is still interested in listening to some discussions on what happened to our great standard of living that we used to have here in America, uh, I'm going to be doing a few more. I'm going to put them over like I said, on Rumble. So this will be my last one here on YouTube. But I'm going to leave the 84 podcasts that are on YouTube right now there, and eventually I'll probably bring them over to the new platform also. But I'll probably leave them here anyway. And I've noticed that, you know, if you look at my top 10 super ripoffs that are bringing down our standard of living from what it was in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. You can look at my top 10 super ripoffs that are out there. They haven't changed a bit. They're the same as they were a couple of years ago. If anything, they're much, much worse. Because the number one super ripoff out there on my list was housing. It's at least double or triple as bad as it was a few years ago. Prices of houses during the corona period just went off the rocker. I think everybody came out and tried to be a real estate investor. and That just made things that much worse. And now housing prices are super, they were super ripoffs before. Now they're super, super extreme ripoffs now. And also rents in most of your typical areas. I was just looking on Craigslist at the rents for a one-bedroom apartment down in anywhere in Southern California. The cheapest one-bedroom apartment you can get is about $2,000 a month. And then if it's a nice one, it could go for $25, $28, $3,000 a month for a one-bedroom apartment every month. You know, that's $100 a day just for your rental. That, that seems it's so out there, I can't even believe it. You'd have to really, to afford that properly, you'd have to make four times that amount. So if you're, say you're paying $2,000, you would have to make $8,000 a month to afford that, that one bedroom apartment. And that's not a very nice one. That would be $2,000 a month. If you wanted to afford the $3,000 a month apartment, which is a nice one in a nice area, you're going to have to make $12,000 a month. Well, Very, very few people are making anywhere near that amount of money. $12,000 a month, that's $144,000 a year. I don't think too many people are making that much money, even in Southern California. So these super ripoffs have just just gotten worse, and our standard of living has gone down even more than it was a couple of years ago when I was doing the original super ripoffs. You know, the second one, you know, medical, I think that's an even bigger ripoff now than it was a few years ago. The next one was college. The prices of college are even higher than they were before, and they're not going down. There's Nothing's changed. The super ripoffs are worse than ever and getting worse all the time. And what that means is our standard of living is getting worse and going down, down, and down. And this is what my new... Uh, podcast will be about why our standard of living is going down. It always come back, comes back to what happened to our great standard of living that we had in America in the 50s, 60s, and 1970s. What happened to it? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about. That'll be all for the day. Thank you for listening in today. And until next time, this is Lloyd Holiday signing off. Mm-hmm.